Good evening, Dan. It is February 11th. That makes it a Wednesday. It's official. I've run out of things to say. I'm discovering more and more that sometimes it's just hard for me to talk about the things that I do every day because I talk about them every day. You've heard about the fact that I work on Tempest. You've heard about the fact that I work in the scene shop and that I do theater. I hang out with friends. Uh, that kind of sums me up right there. I've been eating a lot of chicken pot pie lately. Which I do have to admit is absolutely delicious. So I, I guess that actually is worth mentioning. I've been eating a lot of chicken pot pie lately. But other than that, nothing really new. So I'm going to see what I can find out about other people on the internet that have names like mine. So I'm going to waste a couple minutes by doing the verb game, where you put in your name and a verb and go with the first Google search that comes up. Let's go with like the first interesting one, though, because I have a feeling that mine are going to be pretty crappy. Paul wants all troops home. <laughs> Paul needs a haircut. Oh, it's so true, Internet. So true. Paul lacks dramatic interest. Paul jumps on cue. On cue when I'm supposed to, not on cue nerdy Star Trek Next Generation reference. Paul wakes up with a lot of questions. Paul wakes up and discovers he's late for school. Paul wakes up to great irony. Paul drives a, well, stroller of some kind. Paul watches Ball Pit. Yeah. Paul loves the hard wood, the round ball, the competition. Paul lives on in all of us. And those are a lot of Pauls. And they do a lot of things. More than I do, apparently. I'll talk to you tomorrow. P.S. I kind of cheated in that last game because Paul appears to be more people's last names than first names, but it was more interesting that way.